I'm Chef Lillian Elida, also known as the Savannah Chef, and welcome to At Home with the Savannah Chef. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most important topics that I want people to start talking about, um, you know, just getting more information on and adjusting at home, and that is food and diet, or food and wellness, rather. Um, I know a lot of people have challenges with this, and food, before I even go further on about that, food is a very emotional, mental, and spiritual aspect of our lives. It reflects on where you are at in life. If you're feeling stressed, if you're going through something traumatic, something sad, something that has just gotten you off the track, you're going to use food to comfort yourself. And usually, I see this in homes, and whenever people want to come and talk about, oh, I want to change my eating habits, I want to change this and this and this, then I always ask them, so what is happening in your life? How does it look like your stress level? Is there anything that has recently changed and whatnot? So that's the first thing that I want you guys to understand first and foremost. Secondly, in homes, we're starting with the adults. Adults are the ones responsible for the overall eating habits and wellness of a home. And then in our African setup, in the Zambian setup, the woman is the one who's in charge, mostly in charge of buying the groceries, you're in charge of creating what the family is going to eat. And so the woman, and as much as I don't like it, has more power and influence on how the family and the home is going to eat. And I understand because as a woman, you have 500 other things you have to look at and take care of. And sometimes you just be like, okay, sausage and chips, what are my children going to have for school today? Biscuits and samosas, what are they going to have today? They're going to have some kind of, you know, carbonated or non-carbonated juice with a lot of sugar for school with some muffins and whatnot. So, and then you forget to add in, and then maybe a vegetable will be like an orange or an apple and stuff like that. Or that is for your fruits or a banana, but then that's not a whole round uh, That's not a whole round meal or nutrition that we're talking about So you find that in the, the the foundation of a home that usually a woman is most responsible of is Not always the best that we can do so My advice is before I even go further on as a woman to woman who has a home um, as well Start with what you can at first and slowly start to incorporate certain things in the home. Remember, the babies do not know anything else about life, about food. You are the one introducing these things to them. So instead of them, especially for the mothers who have small babies, maybe who have not started eating yet, or have smaller children that would like to change their eating habits, Start with water. Water, I know a lot of people have a problem with it because according to a lot of people, it's tasteless. Start adding a bit of fusion in it. So we're adding some oranges, some lemons, maybe some other fruits like pineapple, some mint inside to give it a little bit more flavor. Give that to your children. And then for the, for the kids, um, let's try to cut down on... Um, junk food and junk food are those I will not mention any brands but then there are, there are certain things like puffs for instance that you buy like one quarter 15 well nothing is 50 way anymore it's like one quarter you eat it and those are empty calories you know but it's full of sugar it's full of trans fat it's full of so many unhealthy stuff that directly triggers something to your child and then they'll want to crave it time after time. Perhaps you can even be normal crisps, anything deep fried and stuff like that. So slowly incorporate things in home that has more vegetables, more fruits and things that you cook from home, either boiled or grilled that, not, not, that are not necessarily fried. And the second thing is you also have to eat what the children are eating. You cannot just give a child vegetables and yourself, you're like, I'm not going to eat that. A family has to cooperate together as a family and, and as a group to help each other talk about that. So again, my foundation is at home. So mothers, mostly mothers or wives or women or girls, unfortunately the responsibility falls down on us. But then for the dads also, please, it matters. It really matters. And that's going to be my next topic or my next point. Fertility and food, or rather our bodies. 